This is Sherman Ray, and this is Leadership in Action. Hey, I want to welcome you to the uh, to the show today. And the, w once again, my name is Sherman Ray. I'm the founder and CEO of the Diversity Networking Group. We're going to talk a little bit today about increasing your capacity. We want to let you know this is our leadership series for the Diversity Networking Group. What we really believe as a group is that we should empower our leaders to doing great things. We believe that a great leader is an educated leader and that if we can educate you, develop your leadership skills, then you will become a great, great leader in your company. So today, we're going to talk a little bit about increasing your capacity. Okay, uh, We'll run probably about 15, 20 minutes or so. So buckle up. At the end of the, uh, the series, we're going to actually have uh, some exercises for you to do. So be sure to take some, some copious notes uh, because I think you're really going to get something from this. So, increasing your capacity. You know, as a CEO of your own company, you wear a lot of hats, okay? You're the chief bottle washer, the cook, and waiter in an ever-expanding business, okay? At times, it could seem that, that you aren't even, there's not enough of you in the hours of the day. I mean, some of you, I know if, you, if you're like me, you do so much in the middle of the day that you're thinking, man, there's just not enough hours in the day. There's not enough me for the hours of the day, okay? Okay, what is a person supposed to do, okay? Okay, what, what you need to do is you need to be, begin to expand, but you just don't have it in you currently to get to the next level, okay? So, well, here are some tips that are going to help you move from this small scale to a larger scale and increase your capacity in a matter of not years, but in weeks, and not months, but in weeks, okay? If you follow these tips, okay, we're going to help you to prepare for the expansion in your business, which will come in the coming months and years. So recently it was said that if you say that you don't have time for yet another thing, okay, we're going to start over again. Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Sherman Ray, and this is Leadership in Action. Welcome. We want to welcome you to Leadership in Action. I'm your host, Sherman Ray. I'm the founder and the CEO of the Diversity Networking Group. Through this series of videos, what we're going to do is we're going to help you as a leader by expanding your knowledge and expanding who you are as a leader. As a CEO, you can't hope to be a great leader in your group if you don't get it inside of you. And so what we're going to do is we're going to begin to fill your mind with some great ideas and challenge you at the end of the time to put these ideas into action. We do this on a weekly basis at the Diversity Networking Group, which meets in Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll talk a little bit about that at the end. But you can find us online at www.diversitynetworkinggroup.com. Dot com. Or you can find us on Facebook or Twitter or anywhere online. As a matter of fact, just type it in, diversitynetworkinggroup.com. That's just with one G. Let's get into the talk today. We're going to talk a little bit about increasing your capacity. Okay? As a CEO of your company, you wear a lot of hats. You know, you're the chief bottle washer, you're the chief cook, and uh, you're Business is always expanding, but it seems like you're wearing so many hats that there's not enough of you in the day for the hours. Well, what we want to do is we want to, we want to help you expand your business without having, to, uh, without having to pull your hair out. Because I know if you're like me, you spend all your day just running from here to there, here to there. Well, what are you supposed to do? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to help you to expand your capacity for the growth in your business, not in a matter of months, but in a matter of weeks. How many of you would like to do that? You'd like to expand your, your capacity, but in, not in years, but in literally in weeks. Well, we're going to help you do that. It's been said that if you don't have time for yet another thing, yet you want to become a millionaire or you want to be a success in business, then how will you 
ever be able to handle the increase that it takes to become a millionaire. That, I want that to sink into you. See, some of you say, you know what, I, don't, I just don't have time for yet another thing. I just don't have time for another thing. Well, how will you ever expect to handle the amount of pressure, the amount of responsibility that it takes to become a millionaire once that million dollars is sitting right there in your lap? I go to a church in, here in Las Vegas, and it's called the International Church of Las Vegas. At one point, some lady came to our church and said, Hey, you know what? The, uh, you're going to expand so big as a church that you are going to have a, a tithe of the city. Now, in Las Vegas, there are about 3 million people in Las Vegas. A tithe means a tenth. Okay. So what this lady was saying is that a tenth of the 3 million people in Las Vegas are going to start going to your church and they're going to start doing and they're going to start being a part of your organization. Well, if you put if you if you get your calculator out and I've got one here, a tenth of 3 million people is 300,000 people. Okay? Well, that's that's a large amount of people. Well, what are we going to do? And I and I kept asking my pastor about this, how are we going to help 300,000 people? Well, with the leadership that we have, well, it's pretty much impossible. How could you literally service 300,000 people if you don't begin to put the things in place that it's going to take to take care of all those people? Okay, It's not going to happen. And that's the same thing that, that we're really speaking into your life right now. If you want to become a millionaire, if you want to become very successful, then guess what? You're going to have to increase this right here, and you're going to have to increase this right here in order to do that. And that's what we're going to begin to speak to you. Because if you're thinking, man, I want to become this great, great leader and I want to do all these other things, you're going to have to increase your capacity to do that. We did the same thing within our group here in the here in Las Vegas, the Diversity Networking Group. Early on in the in the whole business, we decided, you know what, we want to become a very big a big enterprise. And so Early on, when I started seeing the, the growth in the group, I started saying, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Okay, now what do we have to do? We've got to, we've got to put some certain things in place to handle the increase that is coming. Okay? You know, see what I'm saying? We have, to, we have to begin to put in the infrastructure. We have to begin to put in the roads. Not only do we have to begin to put in the roads, but we've got to begin to put in the, the buildings. We've got to be able to put in the banks. We've got to be able to put in the, the networks so that when we're, as we're growing, as we're growing this thing out, that we'll actually be able to handle the capacity of growth. And we've been fairly successful at that now. But we can't stop. Okay? where we thought that, oh, you know what we'll do is we'll just start building this thing and we'll just kind of let it go and it'll just take care of itself. No, it won't. It'll implode is what it'll do. And unfortunately, that's what happens with a lot of business owners. They start their ventures and they go, oh, you know what, things are going great. And they, uh, they go online and they, uh, they, or let's say they have an online business and they start, uh, they put their product up online and they say, okay, great, let's, let's go ahead and put our widget up here online. And then all of a sudden they see their, their uh, sales go from 5 to 10, to 20, to 100, to 1,000, to 10,000 in one day. And they're thinking, oh my gosh, how can we handle this? We've just got this little mom and pop store. They never thought that they should have built in the infrastructure, the capacity for growth. And sometimes I really think that people don't really believe that they're going to actually grow. So that's what we're going to talk about here today. We're going to talk about three things that you're going to have to do as a leader in order to take to, to increase your capacity because your business is going to grow. I really believe it's going to grow. If you're watching this video right now, you believe it's going to grow because you wouldn't be watching this if you, if you didn't. Okay? So we're going to talk about this in detail. The first place that you need to begin to look at is mentally. Okay? Your mentality has to grow. Okay? Everything starts with a thought. Okay? You fill your mind with thoughts that are provoking ideas that are provoking you. You need to begin to say, okay, I'm going to begin to expand my mind because once you start to expand your mind, things start to happen. Everything starts with a thought. 
what I'm just speaking right now is I'm speaking to you right now through the miracle of video of digital recording everything starts here and then it begins to move out here okay I believe that one of the things that you need to do is you need to begin to read at least an hour a day okay if 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 you were here in the studio with me in my in my office right now you'd see that I've got a, a, a book with me here if you look back on my shelves I've got books everywhere I've got books coming out of my ears because I read incessant incessantly okay I've got an insatiable desire for knowledge and if I don't and the reason why I do that is because I know that I need to know more there's a there's a saying that actually says that you the more you know the more you know that you don't know. Does that make sense to you? Okay. The more you get in here, the more knowledge you get, the more you think, man, there's so much more out there. I didn't know that the color green was was this and that grass is this and that not only that chlorophyll and everything else. And then you start thinking, man, I don't know anything about, about that. So the more you know, the more you know that you really don't know. So I really encourage you to begin to read because if you don't read, guess what? You won't know that you don't know. You won't be inquisitive enough. You'll kind of live in a state of ignorance and that's really not what you want to do. The second thing to help you mentally is you need to surround yourself with thought-provoking or thought-positive people. People who provoke you in a positive manner. Okay. Now there's a difference between surrounding yourself with people who provoke you. <laughs> okay. Even though that has a benefit too. But we want people to be around you who are positive people, people who have a positive outlook, people who are saying, hey, we call these people graham cracker people, okay? People who are always giving you sweet stuff to think about, you know, provoking things, yes, but positive thought-provoking people, okay? You could actually even uh, join a think tank on a weekly basis, okay? Or like a networking group like we have in Las Vegas. But we provoke people in a positive manner so that they're thinking they're always thinking of the next step. Where can I go? What can I do? Um, how can I go there? Why do I go there? Just always thought-provoking uh, th people. And you want to surround yourself with those. You don't want to be around people who are just very negative. People are down. I tell you right now, as a, as a, as a mentor, as a coach, run from those people. Okay, Run from them like the plague. Because those are the people that are going to sap your energy. They're going to sap your strength. So you don't want to be around those kind of people. Okay? 